Hello everyone, how's it going? My name is Harris and welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to be reacting to Will Smith getting roasted by Andrew Schultz on his channel Flagrant 2 and I'm so much looking forward to it. I've already seen the video but I really wanted to do the reaction on it as well. And the fact that he has the fucking balls to go up on a stage and slap Chris Rock. What a fucking dickhead. I thought he was a decent man but watching this it's just pathetic, to be honest, because it was such a mild joke. But still, I'm looking forward to it. I know what's coming, and I know for a fact it is funny as fuck. So, without any delays, let's get to it. Here we go. After the vicious attacks on Chris Rock last night, we think it's only right here at the Flavor right. Podcast to defend the comic's honor to tell jokes. So, here we go. If you didn't see the Oscars, Chris Rock got himself in a hairy situation. He shined a light on female alopecia, while Jada's head shined a light on everything else. <laughs> Chris was making fun of Jada's baldy, but seriously, how is Will supposed to get turned on if she has a woman's haircut? <laughs> Now, I'm not saying that he's gay. Wow. He likes women, specifically ones that swim for pen. Holy shit. All I'm saying is last night wasn't the first time Will fondled another man to make Jada happy. Okay. okay. And Will's do. hand that struck Chris Rock was actually a metaphor for his relationship with Jada. Open when he wanted it to be closed. But let's be honest. Last night, Will Smith looked like he was from the streets of Philadelphia. And Jada looked like she was from the movie. <laughs> After all that drama, Will Smith still took home an Oscar. I'm talking about the award, not a Mexican guy to fuck his wife while he watched in the corner. Oh, okay. You got to wow. Now to clarify, Will won the Oscar for Best Actor. People were saying it was for the Lifetime Achievement Award, and no, that's not it. That Oscar goes to the plumber that unclogged Jada's shower drain. <laughs> I love his face. I love his face now, every time. <laughs> I am tired of people not giving Jada enough credit. Okay? It was actually Jada that helped Will get in character for King Richard. <laughs> because when she gives blowjobs, her head looks like a bouncing tennis ball. Give it up to Will, okay? Give it up to Will Smith. He is the only person to be recognized by the Motion Picture Academy and the Citizen app on the same night. Sure. <laughs> and to everyone saying Will was probably under the influence, no. Okay? He doesn't drink or do drugs. This is the only time he's ever smoked a rock in his life. <laughs> Don't feel bad for Chris funny. Rock, okay? He was finally part of a hit white people will watch. Oh <laughs> Give Chris Rock some damn credit, okay? He took that smack like a champ. And next year, he's gonna be ready, okay? He'll have more bobs and weaves than Jada's wig collection. Yeah. <laughs> now, a lot of people are saying this never happened during Oscars So White. Exactly, okay? The white Oscars are mind-numbingly boring. <laughs> or as Jada would call it, a relationship with Will. Oh, <laughs> so, I think we can all admit this was shocking, okay? Because if there was gonna be one chick at the Oscars with a hair loss disease that doesn't understand humor, I would assume it'd be A.B. Schumer. Oh my God. Anyway, God. Will, oh my God. let this be a lesson to you. If you want to keep your wife's name out of other people's mouths, make sure to keep your hands off comedians. What's up, everybody? Welcome to Flagrant 2. Now, let's start the show. So, that was Will Smith getting roasted by Andrew Schultz on his channel, Flagrant 2. And you know what? It was an absolute brilliant, brilliant bit. And I love Andrew Schultz for doing this because it is so perfect. He described the whole relationship between the two people between uh, Will and Jada because he seems like a guy who's got a foot on his throat and that foot is Jada like she's suffocating him to the point that he went on a stage and slapped a comedian like what a fucking pathetic dickhead like everybody's saying he's standing up for his wife no he's being a little bitch you don't go on a stage and slap a comedian you just don't fucking do that like Andy Short said keep your hand over our comedians you could have a word, you could say, look, don't fucking do that, yeah? I don't appreciate it. You can get angry, that's fine. Getting offended, but going on stage and slapping someone, that just makes you look like a cunt, which it did. So, I really did, like, really, really love Andrew Schultz for doing this, and I'm so much looking forward to having other comedians come up and talk about this shit, because they need to roast these motherfuckers now, because they deserved it. 
Because Chris Rock did not deserve that slap over that fucking G.I. Jane joke. Like, fuck off. You know what I mean? Like, it's so brilliant. I really enjoyed that. And I hope you did too. If you did, why don't you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you guys next time.